boy Triton, and today we'll be talking about Keemstar snitching on H Street again. All right, so H Street has tweeted out the following. H Street has tweeted out the following. Rumor has it that Keemstar, aka Snitchstar, has been writing emails to YouTube all weekend trying to get us suspended again. All right, so Keemstar. The hypocrite he is, says wasn't, but now going to. Dude, really? <sighs> Keemstar, literally, you know, we remember how he admitted, he admitted, um, like, a few days ago that he was snitch, that he, he added the CEO YouTube reporting H3's videos. Let's go look how he admitted to that. So Keemstar says H3 got two strikes on his channel. This is a few days ago. Okay, this was like a few days ago. Comic Cop says show us your flag history and emails to YouTube. Keemstar says I made a public video reporting the videos and tagged the CEO of YouTube. Keemstar admitted to snitching on H3. My god, dude. Like Keemstar is literally a hypocrite, okay? Keemstar's a hypocrite. Yeah, I know, you know, H3 last year during the content nuke thing, you know, suggested that Keemstar should be removed off the platform. I don't think, you know, I don't support the platform, okay? But Keemstar should not snitch on Ethan Klein. Keemstar made the allegation. I don't know, y'all. If y'all were in the commentary like a year ago when this whole H3 vs. Keemstar thing happened, Keemstar made the allegation that Ethan Klein snitched to YouTube to get Leafy banned. Even though the situation, Leafy Pokemon thing had nothing to do with Ethan Klein, Keemstar and the commentary community, mainly Keemstar, accused Ethan Klein of having something to do with Leafy's ban. And Keemstar was calling Ethan Klein a deplatformer, how he's a snitch. But Keemstar literally snitched to YouTube a few days ago. And now, if Ethan Klein is doing, if Ethan Klein, what, if what Ethan Klein's saying is true, then Keemstar's doing it again. Keemstar's doing it again. People need to start calling him out. And I'm, I see a lot. Some people are already starting to call him out. Willie Max Shell starting to call Keemstar out. Mr. San. The quartering. Even Tipster slightly trying to call Keemstar out. But I see Tommy C and Nicholas D. Oyo still kissing Keemstar. Still sucking up to Keemstar. Why? Keemstar is a little hypocrite. Keemstar even said he don't want his enemies deplatformed, right? That's what he said when Death Noodles was deplatformed. That even though he didn't like Death Noodles, and Death Noodles made false allegations against him, Keemstar was trying to be the hero and to get Death Noodles back. Keemstar was trying to look like a good guy. He don't like deplatforming, but Keemstar literally is snitching on Ethan Klein. He is. Keemstar is literally snitching on Ethan Klein, an enemy of his. Because y'all have beefing, now you you guys are just going to report each other to YouTube. Ethan Klein's not a saint. I've been critical of Ethan Klein in the past. I don't like Ethan Klein, okay? I really don't. But I don't like Keemstar. Keemstar's lost my respect. I used to be a big fan of Drama Alert. And I was actually on Keemstar's side at first. But once Keemstar became very hypocritical and tried to deplatform Ethan Klein, I lost respect for Keemstar. And now I'm on neither side. And I think Keemstar is the biggest hypocrite ever. Keemstar says he don't like deplatforming, but he's literally trying to deplatform Ethan Klein. But Keemstar literally says that he's trying to. But Keemstar literally. Is trying to deplatform Ethan Klein, and let's not forget, this wasn't it just this year. Keemstar literally called Kami Carson a pedophile without no evidence with a lunch club members. He said, you know, Carson was like talking to underage girls and stuff, and he had no evidence. But Keemstar put it on Dramala and they called Kami Carson's career. But then we found out later down the line that the girl was seventeen and Carson was nineteen. Remember that. 
Keemstar never collected the record on that. He never did. Because he deplatformed Carson. Because he Keemstar's a deplatformer. Like H3 is. Yes. H3 is a deplatformer. He is. He is a deplatformer. Okay? He is. He's a deplatformer. H3 is. You know, he tried to deplatform James Charles and anybody he don't like. Keemstar is the same way. And Keemstar trying to deplatform H3 makes him look like the biggest hypocrite ever. And nobody should be supporting Keemstar. I'm tired of Tommy C, Nicholas DiOrio, and etc. And anybody defending Keemstar, kissing him all every time he does something bad. Keemstar needs to be called out for deplatforming people. And he's trying to deplatform H3. He is the biggest hypocrite ever. H3 and Keemstar deplatforming people is a big risk to the commentary community because that's YouTube's just gonna see that. People, these people reporting each other and say, hey, the drama community is getting very bad because you have the top creators of the commentary community reporting each other, trying to deplatform each other. So YouTube's just going to enforce these stupid rules on drama again because of these people. These people are harming the commentary community. This is why the commentary community don't need leaders like these people and people should not be on H Street side or Keemstar side. We should be calling both of them out. But a lot of people like Tommy C, Nicholas Diorio, and I actually like these people, but they're just, but they're kissing Keemstar. But they're literally on the side, deplatforming people. They are. They're, all, they're on the side. Tommy C even made a video on Comic Cop saying, So, why should I care? So, what he said. Tommy C, you are a hypocrite. Because you said you don't like when people are deplatformed. But yet, Keemstar can deplatform people. He can deplatform H3. He can deplatform Call Me Carson. Keemstar and H3 are the same. And I give credit to the quartering for saying that. They literally are the same. Keemstar is not innocent at all. And, and I'm glad Willie Mac Show and these other people are speaking out against the suck ups of Keemstar and Keemstar himself and calling Keemstar what he is a hypocrite. And Keemstar should be ashamed of himself for being such a big hypocrite. Like, I'm just tired. Like, I used to watch these people. I, like, the commentary community. A lot of small commentators that do what I do. Like, even people that are small. Like, all these small, all these commentary people. Any, everybody that is in the commentary community got started because of H3 or Keemstar or both. I got started because of both, because I want to voice my opinion, because that's what they did. But, and I also want to, also, you know, I had the same belief system. Anti cancel, I'm anti cancel culture, I'm anti all this, you know. But they lied to us for years because they're not really anti cancel culture. They are pro cancel culture, both of them. As long as it's someone they don't like, they don't care that they're, they're platformed. Both of them are like that. And the commentary community should hold these people both accountable. If Keemstar is still trying to snitch H3 out, shame on you, you hypocrite rat gnome. You are literally making the commentary community so bad to YouTube. YouTube's just going to get rid of both of you, and I'm not going to care. You know why I'm not going to care? Because you both are doing this to yourselves by reporting each other. You guys are. You guys are big YouTubers. Why do y'all? Why y'all even fighting? It's been a year. Can y'all just drop it and move on? Yes, you hate each other. You hate each other. H three, quit talking about Keemstar. Keemstar, quit talking about H three. Move on from each other and never speak to each other again. It's not that hard. You guys are forty year old men acting like. Acting like teen girls in high school. That's what y'all are. You guys are literally acting like teen girls in high school that can't keep each other off their mind. Y'all want to be more popular than the other. Y'all want to have more subs than the other. Y'all want to be on YouTube. 